It's the Brazilian booty left. Okay, back at the shop for another day, and we're back to do the one thing you guys have watched us do many times before, which Bam. is lift the body off the frame. We're gonna take this body, put it on the trailer, bring it away, store it for a little bit so that we can get the frame stripped down. Then we're gonna play uh, musical chairs with some of the stuff in the garage. Careful. And uh, start working. So away we go. So there it is, loaded up, ready to go. Sit up with the parents for a little bit until we can get the frame stripped and all set. That'll be exciting, I can't wait to get that done. Okay, so it looks a little bit weird now that the body is gone off of the car. We've got a whole bunch of extra space to work. So the next step for this guy is a few different things. Got a Weld up these frame mounts here. Got to weld up these guys here. Also noticed that we've got, I think it's three broken leaf springs in there. So those guys have to come out and be replaced. Plus, we've got some play here. This bearing or something like that gone. As you can see, our tire is sitting a little bit on an angle. But we've also got some other stuff going on today. So, Tim. Yo. What's going on? Yo. I am trying to make a template to cut my exhaust for my other car. I, I caught this on YouTube, of course. Uh, guy just made a C channel and it allows you to find the, the center point on a piece of pipe. And you lay the pipe in it. So I'll be laying pipe later. And uh, yeah, go from there. And this should measure out to two and a half. Bang on. Ron, what's going on back here? Well, I uh, fouled out some rear corners, bent them up on the brake, and I'm gonna fab them into the back of this car and uh, give it some, uh, so it kind of looks a little bit better in the back end here today. It's gonna look like a completely different rear end by the time we're done. Yeah. It's the Brazilian booty left. set it on the floor today? I'll be gone by the time you get there, unfortunately. Well, we just roll three pieces of rubber right up. Uh, let's figure out the ride height then. I'll jack back end up. Yeah, figure that out. I'm just gonna... 
We're gonna take a little bit of a pause in what we're doing right now so that we can set the car on the ground while Tim is here before he has to go in for the day. Which would be pretty cool because then that means that we can actually roll it around. Where are we? How is that looking? That looks not too bad there. Yeah, it looks okay. Yep. I don't know if it's the same on both sides as Jack may not be putting it up evenly, but it doesn't look, it looks like the side's lower. It's right here. Oh, it's there. Yep, it's hiding right here in plain sight. Oh, that wasn't even an awkward toss. Oh, wow. Okay, Ron, so what are we gonna do now to get the ride height set? Well, we're just gonna add some bars across the back of the rear end just to hold it up for now. And then we can figure out our shocks and our cross member and put it in place. I think our wheel bearings are good. They look pretty good. Okay, so this is actually a pretty big deal. What we did was, once again, as you've seen many times, we pushed the chev frame out into the yard. And the reason for that is because we're finally taking the charger off of the jack stands. And then what we're going to do is put it up on the hoist. Well, I've never quite, uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to tip right off the jack stands, but yeah, we're down now. I figured I'd move the front end over a bit to help us get out. At least the weld was good on that bar. <laughs> they weren't. Oh, we're all easy. Are we going to that post on there? No, nope, you're good. You're good. Uh, whoa. Yep. Nope. You are perfect. <laughs> we're, we're a little uneven back in. There you go. Okay. Can you go back at all? Yeah, how about that? That work? Yep. So, there you go. You know, that's uh, pretty crazy considering. A bit of a door gap there, but we'll get that figured out. But we must what just we be hitting. Pulled out of the bush. Okay, so we ended up moving some stuff around. It looks a little bit different in the garage now. Charger up on the hoist. We're on. Now is an easier way to work. Prepping to put the other panel in at the back here. The last time I hung on the hoist, it was underneath the hoist. Yes. Got chef frames here. Got lots of room to work. Mess around, get things ready and prep it to go out. Pretty cool to see this progress today.
So basically, Ron, what you've done is you've taken what's left of the old quarter, right? Replaced it with this piece, and then to get your shape, just followed along with what the remaining parts yeah, were. What's left, yeah, because the bumper on these chargers, they come over and down, eh? So I'm gonna have to make a piece that goes in here like this. Yep. Bring this piece down. Do like a 90 degree in there. Okay. Tie it in. You just take your panel, tack it on the existing quarter or wherever you're working at, then just take your zip disc, and if you cut on a slight angle, you, you narrow the gap, but if you cut straight in, then you widen the gap, because it kind of, when you weld it, it kind of overlaps in the back, and it stops warpage, and when you're done, you just reach in and you pull the old panel out like that one on the, uh, the right side. Yeah, so that piece is still in there right now, and it'll just pop right out. Just for the hell of it, I bought the biggest death wheels that I could find at the store the other day. I guess it's an advantage in some ways and a disadvantage in others, but they'll shrink down after a, a bit of use. A little bit too much of a bench. All right, so that's it. We're gonna call it a day. I think that was pretty uh, good as far as accomplishments go. Got lots done, right? Yeah. Move some stuff around. Got it up in the hoist. Now we can finish the underside. Start, starting to kind of look like a car again. It is compared to the sort of car husk that we hauled home. <laughs> So still plenty of work to do, but tons accomplished at the same time. It's hard to believe that a couple months ago, it was just a big pile of crap. So thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to click that like button and click the subscribe button to stay up to date on everything that we're up to because there's lots and lots more to be done on the charger. Plus, gotta get back on the uh, Chev and start working on that stuff too because uh, time is ticking and we wanna get it done. All right, thanks a lot, have a good one.